Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the best place for call center handling skills. We're going to cover assurance of help. So if English is not your first language, if you're starting to work in a call center, or you just, you're just curious about language for call centers, and you are in the right place uh, uh, for this type of language. So today's lesson is on assurance of help. That's the call center skill that we'll be focusing on, assurance of help. And we'll be focusing on the language aspect of using let me go ahead plus the verb in the base one. So question, do you want to communicate? Do you want to communicate proactive steps? Do you want to communicate proactively with your customers? Do you want to communicate confidence, but in a proactive Check, listen to that word, proactive manner. So if you wish to be, uh, if you want to co communicate or convey to your customer uh, proactive language, or do you want to talk to your customer proactively, remember that word, proactively, then I have the perfect phrase for you. And you are going to sound like a native speaker. You don't need to live in the United States to use this one. So... The phrase is, let me go ahead and plus the verb in the base form. Okay, so we're going to use this, uh, um, this, this phrase like this. Check out these examples. These are real examples that you can use. I have some examples for different types of campaigns, uh, tracking, troubleshooting, uh, you name it. Here, check out these examples. Um, suppose uh, the, the different scenarios that could, that could occur, right? So something bad happened to the customer. So we're going to go, Mr. Customer, I understand this is complicated for you, but don't worry. Um, you can rest assured that we'll fix it for you. So uh, let me go ahead and expedite the number port in. Or, Mr. Customer, I'm so sorry to hear about that problem with the internet, uh, but uh, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm a uh, troubleshooting expert, and let me go ahead and troubleshoot that internet for you so we can get you back on track. Um, next uh, scenario. Mr. Customer, I, I'm really sorry to hear that nobody has, uh, you know, uh, expedited this matter for you, but don't worry, I will take full priority of this issue. Um, let me go ahead and escalate your ticket, and I'm sure that we can find a solution tonight. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Customer, I understand that nobody likes slow internet speeds, but don't worry, I got the perfect Number solution. One, opening. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Carlos. How may I help you today? Two, empathy. Hi, Mr. Customer. I can relate to what you're saying about your package, and I'm very sorry to hear you haven't received it yet. Assurance, please understand that you're my priority at this moment, and you're talking to a tracking expert here at Amazon. I can definitely verify on my end the status of your verification. Can I please have your order number, please? Thank you. Would you please go next step? Okay. Hold procedure, Mr. Customer. I need to work on my system for a couple of moments. Can I place you on hold for two minutes while I work on the system? Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, Mr. Customer, as my system information shows, the package was delivered on 12 first. Okay, Mr. Customer, just to be on the same page, um, you will receive your package tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. through UPS. Once again, my name is Rocky Balboa. Thank you very much uh, for choosing Amazon. Have a wonderful day, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, blessing to everybody at the family. See ya, bye-bye. So let me go ahead and reset your router uh, from my end. Uh, next question. Uh, Mr. Customer, I understand you're a little bit confused about the status of your order, but uh, I realize it's uh, concerning to you. But don't worry, you're talking to a, a tracking expert, and I'll definitely check that out for you. So uh, let me go ahead and verify the status of the order. Great. So the phrase, let me go ahead, and the verb in the base form, expedite, troubleshoot, escalate, reset, verify. When you say that, uh, when you use the phrase plus the verb, the action or the steps that you're going to take, what you're doing is you're communicating proactive steps. Write this one down. So what are proactive steps? Anything that is proactive means taking the initiative. And that's going to transmit confidence to your customer. Right, because your customer 
wants you to take certain actions in terms of resolving the action, the problem. And when you say to your customer the different steps, the different proactive steps that you'll be taking to resolve the problem, then you're transmitting confidence to the customer. The customer will feel assured and uh, more confident to work with you. Okay. So let's take a look on, on, on how to structure the, the use of the, of the phrase, right? This is an assurance of help phrase. And I totally recommend that you use as many phrases with let me go ahead during your whole call uh, it, it, to convey proactive language to your customer. So this is how you're going to use it. It's pretty simple. You're going to use the phrase, let me go ahead and. So that's necessary. Let me go ahead and. Then you're going to use the verb in the base one. Like so. So like the examples. Let me go ahead and expedite. Let me go ahead and troubleshoot. Let me go ahead and escalate. Let me go ahead and reset. Let me go ahead and verify. Let me go ahead and double check the order, right? That's how you're going to use it. Verb in the base one. But you got to make sure that you say the whole phrase because this is a phrase that is going to communicate the proactive step that you're going to take. Okay, so you need to say the whole phrase. Um, if you want to say it quicker, you can you can say it a lot a, a bit uh, much quicker by saying let me let me let me. So it just sounds a little bit more quicker by saying by saying it something like this. Let me. You're connecting this, one, right? Let me go ahead, right? Let me go ahead. And here you're gonna reduce it ahead, right? Ahead. Let me go ahead, ahead and so reduced. So you want to say it quicker? Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and let me go ahead and expedite. Let me go ahead and troubleshoot. Let me go ahead and escalate. If you want to say it uh, a bit quicker, okay? So that's the assurance phrase that we're going to use. Let's let's repeat it a couple of times. Everybody, repeat after me. Let's say it slowly. Let me go ahead and your turn. Let me go let ahead me and. and let me go ahead and. Now let's use the verb. Everybody, let me go ahead and expedite the port in. Let me go ahead and expedite the number. Pour it in. Let me go ahead and troubleshoot the internet. Let me go ahead and troubleshoot the internet. Let me go ahead and escalate your ticket. Let me go ahead and escalate your ticket. Wonderful. Let me go ahead and reset your router. Let me go ahead and reset your router. Nice. Let me go ahead and <coughs> verify the status of the order. Let me go ahead, Let me go ahead, ahead and, and verify the status of the order. I love your customer service vocabulary. Now, can you say it reduced? Let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead and. Can you say it? Let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead Let me and. Go ahead and. Oh, I love your fluency. <laughs> Let's practice with fluency, guys. Repeat after me. Let me go ahead and expedite the number ported. Let me go ahead and expedite the number party. Nice. Can you see it faster like a machine gun? Let me go ahead and troubleshoot the internet. Let me go ahead and troubleshoot the internet. Yeah, just just machine gun all these assurance of help statements. Let me go ahead and escalate your ticket. Let me go ahead and escalate your ticket. Let me go ahead and escalate your ticket. Good. Let me go ahead and reset your router. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and verify the order status or the status of the order. Let me go ahead and go ahead and verify the status of the order. Of the order. Good work. Now we're gonna use this phrase uh, to communicate proactive steps and to also communicate ownership that you're taking control of the call, right? So that's the purpose of that. Now here's some extra documentation. Uh, so you guys can check out some more examples. So let me go ahead and and uh, check out some more examples here with you. So uh, uh, in the document that I provided, you guys can go to page number five. Uh, there are also some additional uh, assurance of help statements if you wish to use them for your different campaigns. 
but go let ahead me and share my screen. Let me go ahead and share with you some more examples. Let's check them out. Okay, so here we go. It says here, the phrase, let me go ahead and plus action to correct the issue is useful for conveying assurance of help because it demonstrates a sense of ownership and commitment to resolving the customer's issue by using the phrase, the customer service agent is communicating that they are taking proactive steps to resolve the issue. Very good. Everybody repeat after me. Taking proactive steps to resolve the issue. Let's repeat it, guys. Taking, taking proactive steps to resolve the issue to resolve the issue and that they are confident they can correct the problem. Everybody repeat that, please. They and are they confident, are confident that they, are they are confident, are confident that they can correct, correct, the, problem. The, problem. They can uh -huh. correct the problem. With a special infinite emphasis on confident. You know, a lot of escalations when the customer says, Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Can I speak to somebody in America or something? It's because we don't sound confident. That's one of the main reasons. And then your, your supervisor gives you feedback and says, you need to take ownership of the call. You need to sound more confident. How do you do that? Well, you start using this vocabulary so you communicate proactive steps, okay? That's the way to, uh, to uh, building confidence. Let's take a look at some examples um for different campaigns that are provided here okay and let's let's take a look at, at that let's we got four examples here let's ask uh our friend over here uh gus gus good job would you please help us out sir let you. me go ahead sir thank you okay number one let me go ahead and check your account to see if there are any outages in your area let me go ahead and read modem to see if that resolved the issue. Let me go ahead and escalate your ticket to our technical support team. Let me go ahead and perform a network diagnosis to very identify the root cause of this issue. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. Well done, well done. Wonderful. Okay, so um, you know, this is really good stuff. Uh, any of you guys do troubleshooting? Does anybody have to do troubleshooting in this? Uh, in this, uh, is anybody? Does anybody have to do troubleshooting? I, Giselle, do you work troubleshooting? I think so, right? So, um, troubleshoot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You troubleshoot the the system, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. So these are some useful examples. Um, troubleshooting is uh, basically taking steps to eliminate the root cause of a problem to determine what the problem, the root problem is. So it's a series of steps that it, it's a series of elimination steps, let's say, that are used to eliminate the possible variants that could be causing, uh, let's say, the router from the router from connecting or the phone from connecting to the network. That's troubleshooting. Um, and these are great. So let me go ahead and check your account to see if there are any outages. This is a good one. Outages. Outages is when there is no service. Outages. Or, or you could say system downtime. Sometimes it's called downtime, right? Or no service at all. You know, uh, perhaps there's like uh, some damage, uh, out, you know, electrical damage in the poles or something. So an outage, outage in the plural, outages, outages is when there's no service, absolutely no service. All right. So you want to you want to put that one there in your area. Number two, let me go ahead and reset your modem or uh, router. Right. A modem is not common anymore. It should be more of a router. Let me go ahead and reset your router uh, to see if that resolves the issue. So generally, this is what is done to perform, uh, to get the router working again. Three, let me go ahead and escalate your ticket, right? Escalate your ticket 
to our technical support team, right? Because uh, in customer service, we can do so many steps, uh, but if if, if uh, it can't be resolved, we can we can um, issue a ticket for the tech support team. Let me go ahead and perform a network diagnosis. A network diagnosis is to check the settings, right? To check all system settings. A network diagnosis. Let's pronounce these new words, team. I really want you to get new vocabulary in each session. Uh, let's see it, guys. Outages. 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 Very good. And what is an outage? Outage, what is the meaning? Downtime or no service? And the downtime and no service. No service. Okay. Let's say this one, guys. This is another one. We'll get to that one in just a bit. Everybody, let's say, reset your router. Reset, reset your router. router. Reset your router. Escalate your ticket. Escalate, Escalate your ticket. Perform a network diagnosis. Perform a network, Perform a network, 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 network diagnosis. 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 <laughs> okay. It's like saying diagnosis. No, sis. Okay. Now let's go to identify the root cause of the issue. Okay. So identify the root cause of the issue. Sometimes, um, this is a great question, by the way. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take it. Let, let me go ahead and, and give you an example of that. So, um, number one, opening. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Carlos. How may I help you today? Two, empathy. Hi, Mr. Customer. I can relate to what you're saying about your package, and I'm very sorry to hear you haven't received it yet. Assurance. Please understand that you're my priority at this moment, and you're talking to a tracking expert here at Amazon. I can definitely verify on my end the status of your verification. Can I please have your order number, please? Thank you. Would you please go next step? Okay, hold procedure. Mr. Customer, I need to work on my system for a couple of moments. Can I place you on hold for two minutes while I work on the system? Yes, thank you so much, sir. Okay, Mr. Customer, as my system information shows, the package was delivered on 12 first. Okay, Mr. Customer, just to be on the same page, um, you will receive your package tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. through UPS. Once again, my name is Rocky Balboa. Thank you very much uh, for choosing Amazon. Have a wonderful day, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, blessing to everybody at the family. See ya, bye-bye. Troubleshooting, right? We're talking about troubleshooting, right? Okay, so let's suppose that the cell phone has no connection uh, to, the, to the cellular network, right? So here are the bars, but we're not getting service. Right, we're not getting service. So there are many variables, right? Right, many variables that could be causing uh, the, the service, uh, the the phone from not connecting to the network. Many many variables that could be affecting it. Perhaps it could be the weather. It could, there could be an electrical storm in the area, right? That's a possibility. It's a variable. Perhaps the settings, the the phone settings, the configuration. Maybe the customer. Has, uh, doesn't have the settings or is not connected to the network. Uh, perhaps there's a problem with the device, right? The, the, the phone has a problem or the SIM card, there's something wrong with the SIM, right? Or uh, maybe the customer hasn't paid. So it's a payment problem and the service has been interrupted. So by identifying the root problem, right? The root problem is basically to eliminate the different variables to determine the main cause that's the root the to like when they say there to identify the the root cause of the problem right it's the main uh, cause so um i can just say well uh, mr customer are there any electrical storms in your area no okay eliminated um, well, let's go ahead and check your phone settings. Let's go to your uh, mobile networks, go to settings. Now go to the APN settings. I want you to check that you have the correct settings. Can you verify? Okay, everything is good. So this is eliminated. Uh, let's see your uh, problem with the device. No, this is a new phone. Okay, great. Uh, SIM card, let me just, uh, let me go ahead and verify the SIM card on my, on my end. Da, da, da. Well, everything looks good. So the SIM card is not a problem. One more thing to check, Mr. Customer. Let me verify the payment. Oh, 
I'm sorry, Mr. Cas. I'm afraid to tell you that the the the, the that's payment. That's the root. <laughs> yeah, that's the root. That's the root. You got it, Danny. This is a root. That's the root cause of the problem. You know. Uh, so that's the root. It's the main cause, right? And how do you get to the to the main uh, cause? Well, you get to it by eliminating the variables and by following the sequence, because troubleshooting is a sequence of steps that we follow uh, to determine the root cause of the problem. And that's that's that. So I hope that helps you. The uh, agents come back to me and they say, oh, Mr. E, uh, during the, the hiring process, we did a role play. We did this. We did this. And I applied the let me go ahead. And it was great. Now I passed and I got my job. Yeah, that's it. So that's one way. Another way is, uh, you know, agents come and say, you know, I'm starting to use this and the customer is more confident with me now. Right. So there you go. It works. It works. So start applying it. Use it a lot. Uh, I'm sure that you're going to see some good results. Okay, so this is it for this lesson of let me go ahead, use it, and you know, transmit, communicate, proactive steps, guys. All right. Number one, go. opening. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Carlos. How may I help you today? Two, empathy. Hi, Mr. Customer. I can relate to what you're saying about your package, and I'm very sorry to hear you haven't received it yet. Assurance. Please understand that you're my priority at this moment, and you're talking to a tracking expert here at Amazon, I can definitely verify on my end the status of your verification. Can I please have your order number, please? Thank you. Would you please go next step? Okay, hold procedure. Mr. Customer, I need to work on my system for a couple of moments. Can I place you on hold for two minutes while I work on the system? Yes, thank you so much, sir. Okay, Mr. Customer, as my system information shows, the package was delivered on 12 first. Okay, Mr. Customer, just to be on the same page, um, you will receive your package tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. through UPS. Once again, my name is Rocky Balboa. Thank you very much uh, for choosing Amazon. Have a wonderful day, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Blessings to everybody at the family. See ya. Bye-bye.